Hello and good morning. Thank you for joining me today. It's a beautiful day here, beautiful windy morning, so I decided to do a little bit of a warm up, a morning salutation to kind of get my body moving for the day. So I wanted you to join me with me. Um, so grab your mat and let's get started. So we are going to start in mountain pose today. Um, it's a type of salutation A, but I really love to do my own variations and add some little movements to it, kind of making it a little bit of my own salutation. So we are going to, I'm gonna perform for you four um, rounds, and but you are welcome to do as many as you would like and as many as you feel you are fully warmed up for. So we are going to inhale into mountain pose you may place your hands together palms together or intertwine your fingers and just kind of bend a little bit back Ew. inhale and exhale we are going to swan dive into standing forward fold so open up your arms to your side and exhale as you swan dive make sure your core is engaged you can spread apart your legs that's what i like to do and make sure your shoulders aren't tight like they're not rising up to your ears just keep them nice and relaxed i like to come onto my tippy toes here and then on my heels just kind of stretching out i like to keep my knees a little bit bent here it kind of helps you know for the morning when you're just kind of waking up and you're still kind of a little bit tight in all your muscles so just kind of making sure you get there one step at a time so just slowly i'm coming up onto my tippy toes and i'm gonna inhale come up a little bit exhale take my elbows together in my opposite hands making sure my shoulders are relaxed not rising up to my ears coming into ragdoll and then swaying side to side feeling an additional stretch in my hamstring and just breathe if you're doing this outside in your backyard just feel that nice wind on your skin enjoying every moment of this warm weather that we still have left and then inhale we're going to come up to halfway lift engage your core relax your shoulders and exhale as you return back to forward fold again just kind of relaxing here okay and then from here we're going to step back into a downward dog i'm just going to step back into downward dog pressing everything in my body i'm going to walk out my calves feeling this nice stretch and then here you can squat and do body waves feeling that nice variation in your body opening up your body just adding any movements to get you all set for the day. Okay, and then we are gonna come into a lunge. So inhale and bring your right foot up towards the sky, extend and bring it under you in between your hands into a low lunge. So your knees bent at a 90 degree angle and then lower your left leg knee onto the mat. Your hands are e on either side of your right foot helping you with your balance and your positioning. This is a nice hip flexor stretch, making sure your shoulders are not coming up to your ears. You're staying relaxed here. Then tuck your left leg and then you're gonna bring your right foot leg back and then we're gonna come into chaturanga. So you're in a plank, kind of tip a little bit forward lower yourself your elbows at a 90 degree angle and then lower yourself completely we're gonna come into a cobra and then here you could flow a little bit lifting 
yourself so this is almost like a bicep and a tricep workout too for your hands and then from here lower yourself back to cobra flip your feet so tuck your toes and come back into an upward facing dog again walk out your feet feeling that nice stretch and then here you can step walk or jump it back into a forward fold again take your hands into opposite elbows for ragdoll maybe you want to bend your knees feeling that nice stretch like do a little bit of circles in your hips so kind of bending your knees and making these circles in one direction and then in the opposite direction and then relax release come up into halfway lift as you inhale your back is flat your gaze is down towards the mat your shoulders are relaxed core is engaged and then exhale as you forward fold again we're gonna step back again into a downward facing dog so step back kind of into a plank and bring your hips up towards the sky into a downward dog again walk out your heels we're going to repeat everything now on our opposite side so inhale and bring your left leg up towards the sky at this time feeling that nice additional stretch in your right leg and then bring it underneath you, place it in between your hands. And your hands are on either side of your foot. You're gonna lower your right knee to the mat, untuck your toes, so the tops of your feet are placed into the mat for a nice low lunge. Here for this nice hip flexor. On the next rotation, I am going to incorporate a little bit more of a back bend too in our crescent lunge. Just maybe like your body's still waking up, you don't want to do it right off the bat. Okay, and then from here, we are going Okay, and then from here, we are going to tuck our right foot, come up into a plank. We're gonna go back into chaturanga. So you're here in plank, kind of go to the front of your tippy toes, lower yourself so your elbows at a 90 degree elbow. Your elbows are pressing into your ribs. Lower yourself completely down into, on your belly, and then come into cobra. So you're lifting up your chest, making sure your shoulders are relaxed and then your elbows are pressing into your ribs. If this is too much of a back bend for you, you could always bring your hands a little bit out further in front of you so you won't get that much of a back bend in your back. And then here again, we're going to do several cobra waves. Make sure you do this slowly to not like do anything really fast in your back you don't want to pull any muscles or cause any injuries so just do this nice and slow and remember to breathe inhale as you come up exhale as you come back down and then one more time inhale you can gaze backwards and then exhale as you come back down and then tuck your toes. We're gonna come back into a downward dog. Beautiful. And then step walk or jump. We're gonna inhale, come into mountain pose. And then bring your hands to heart center, just feeling that nice wind outside it's so nice and cool it's almost October here and then we're gonna swan dive into standing forward fold open your arms and swan dive hinging at your hips remember not from your lower back again several tippy toes and then back on your heels tippy toes and heels tippy toes and heels come to ragdoll sway from side to side and then you can just like kind of bend and extend your legs slowly 
You don't want to do any jerking movements or any bouncing. And then just do several like circles in your hips. One way and then the other way. Halfway lift as you inhale and exhale as you fold back down. We're going to step back into a downward dog. And then we're going to repeat on our right side again. So walk out your calves, feel that nice stretch. And then inhale as you bring your right leg up towards the sky. And then I want you to bend it over for a three-legged stacked dog. Or stacked three-legged dog. <laughs> so you're gonna get that extra hip flexor stretch. And then extend it back out and exhale as you bring it through in between your hands. Lower your left knee to the mat and you're in a low lunge. And then we're going to inhale and bring our arms up to a crescent lunge. So inhale, just bring your hands up towards the sky, making sure your shoulders are relaxed and away from your ears. So you're creating this crescent shaped moon with your back and your leg. And then exhale as you bring your hands down by your foot. Just staying here for a couple seconds, a couple breaths, a couple breaths to regain yourself, to just feel that additional little extra stretch. And then tuck your toe, toes of your left foot. Come up into a runner's lunge and then bring your leg back. We're gonna come into a plank and then again repeat our chaturanga. Lower yourself down completely to your belly slowly. You may hover for a little bit. Push yourself up into cobra. Remember, keeping your shoulders relaxed, your elbows pressed into your rib cage. And then just let's do a little mini flow again of our cobra. Just slowly opening our back muscles. And then one more time, lower yourself as you exhale, and we're going to tuck our toes and come into a downward facing dog. Just stretch it out. Maybe now you're feeling really flexible after all these three rounds that we did to another set of body waves. And then we're gonna come into a standing forward fold, so step walk or jump. Maybe you're feeling adventurous and you wanna jump now. Totally welcome. And then one more time as we're here, we're gonna in inhale as we come into mountain pose. Bring your hands up towards the sky. You may take your palms into each other or you may intertwine your fingers. And then inhale. And exhale as you fold at your hips. Do some hip rotations, opening up your body. Opening up your hips. And we have one more set. And as always, you may continue on and repeat as long as you want for this little sequence in your morning flow. And then let's do ragdoll one more time take your elbows into your opposite hands just hang heavy here from your upper body feeling that extra stretch in your hamstring and then inhale as you come into halfway lift engage your core and then exhale as you fold and one more time coming on to our tippy toes and on our heels just feeling that extra stretch and then step back into a downward dog. We're gonna repeat this on our left side. So stretch out. Maybe one more time, walk out in your calves if this is the last set that you're doing. And then inhale as you bring your right leg up towards the sky. Bend it over for a three, stacked three-legged dog, feeling that extra stretch in your hip. Extend it out and then Exhale as you bring it through. In between your hands, place your right knee on the mat. So you're in a low lunge. 
we're gonna come into a crescent lunge so you're going to inhale as you kind of bend back a little bit more feeling that extra stretch in your hip flexor maybe your gaze is up towards the sky it's really going to challenge your balance and then exhale as you come down return into a low lunge just maybe stay here for a couple seconds just regain yourself and then tuck your right toes we're going to lift into a runner's lunge come into plank on our last time shift forward come into a chaturanga lower yourself all the way down lift into a cobra exhale as you lower back down inhale and exhale Exhale, and let's do this a couple more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck your toes, come up into a downward facing dog. Walk it out. Your one last time. Stretch, squat, body weight. Return to downward dog and then step walk or jump. Maybe if this is the last set, you're gonna really challenge yourself and jump. Hang heavy for a few breaths. That last little hamstring stretch. And then inhale as you come up to mountain pose. Bring your palms together at the top. You can intertwine your fingers. And release, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for joining me here today on this beautiful morning sun salutation flow with a little bit of a modification by me. You can do whatever you would like in your little personal flow that's going to get started with your beautiful day. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back on the mat. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please press the button below. And you can always catch up with me on my Instagram as well. Hope to see you soon. Bye.